Okay, let's talk a little bit about how a distribution that is Poisson can actually look. So if we have means that are pretty close to zero, so we'll call this our PMF, and we'll say lambda is close to zero, uh, what you're going to see is a distribution that kind of looks like this, where we've got high probabilities, high probabilities, and then they're kind of dropping off. Kind of like this, going on down and down and down, like that. Notice how I put the dots on. I put them on there for a reason. So this is our support. And this is the probability. Oh, yeah, I put those dots on because unlike the binomial distribution that had a fixed number of trials that was you know within a pretty small window, uh, the PMF for and the support for a Poisson distribution extend out to infinity. They just they keep on going forever. They don't have some endpoint. Um, so we can see this, and this is it looks similar to a binomial, uh, but it's different because it continues on forever. Okay, now let's say that we have a bigger lambda. So we'll say lambda is, we'll say much bigger. And zero. We we'll use this as our PMF again. And this will be our probability. Again, let's label it. And this is going to be our support. Okay, so if this is our scenario again, and our probability, or our lambda value is much bigger than zero, what you're going to see is that the Poisson distribution, too, can get kind of a bell shape to it as well. So basically the idea is that if it has enough space away from kind of that floor, you hear these terms of floor and ceiling, if it has enough space away from the floor, it's got an opportunity to kind of make this bell-ish shape. Uh, but if it's crammed up against the floor, it, we get this kind of skewed distribution. Now in the binomial, we saw how it also got skewed the other direction as it got crammed up against the ceiling or the maximum value. The thing with Poisson though is, is there a maximum value? And the answer is no, there's no ceiling to this data. It can continue on basically uh, forever. So we've got this kind of bellish shape here. And you can kind of see how this is trying to be bell-shaped, but it gets slammed up that bottom value of zero. So that is basically kind of how the shapes, uh, how we can see them in our PMFs um, for our Poisson distributions. And similarly, like we could ask these questions again. So if this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, kind of going on down. I could ask what's the probability of being greater than five, right? Well, visually what it is, is it's the sum of all of those guys for being greater than five. If I was looking for the probability of our random event of being greater than or equal to five. Right now, what we did with the binomials, we could just stack all these on top of each other and see where it landed in our probability. We could kind of add them all up. Well, the problem with this guy is, is that if we add them all up, we'd be adding forever because this thing goes on forever and ever and ever. So again, remember that when we ask these questions of like the greater than or greater than or equals to, what we need to do is we need to find the complement first. And we can do 1 minus the probability of x being less than 5 which is the complement of being greater than or equal to 5. So that guy would be stacking up all of 
these guys. Oh, so remember, I didn't get that zero on there. Let's have it something like that. And we should have a zero value down there too. All right, but that's really kind of visually seeing these probability mass functions graphed out with our Poisson distribution.